All right, we're back. So now that we have the three printers set up with this one pad, we've got the QQS, the Q5, and the V400. What you have to do now is calibrate each printer using the pad. Otherwise, it's not, it's not gonna know what calibrations we use on each, on each printer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Actions, Printer, and we're gonna calibrate the Q5. And all of the procedures are gonna be the same, so we're just gonna do that one printer, but you'll do the other two just like it. All right, so now you can see here that we're on FL Sun Q5. All right, now we're gonna to go to configuration, bed level, and calibrate. Oh. All right, so just like usual, you take the, uh, the sensor, put it on, connect the cable, Then you come back to the pad. Now you do everything from the pad. Hit continue because you've got the sensor on. Continue. And you can see that it's going to do it. There we go. So, of course, this takes a while. So, we're just going to film a little bit of this. And then we'll skip through uh, the rest. But you can see what I did. was I, All I'm doing is calibrating it the same way we used to. Except we're doing it from the pad. And I showed you how to do that. So you can see it's doing it. And you can see now it's taking three points of the same spot. Unlike with the Marlin, it takes one point. All right, so this is where we're gonna skip to it and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes when it's completed and then I'll show you the rest of the procedure. All right, so now the calibration has ended. That's that button right there, calibrate. Now we gotta do the bed mesh. Bed mesh is where it's gonna take, I think it's 25 or 30 different points on the bed. And you'll see when I press that, again, it wants to make sure that you have the level sensor on. And continue, and then now you'll see over there that it's gonna start taking all the points to do the bed mesh. And again, once we see a couple of actions here, we're gonna turn the video off and wait for the end because this takes a while but it does it very accurately and again it's taken three points instead of one with Marlin all right so it's going to do that whole process right across the bed so this is where we're going to pause the video and take you to the next item when this is completed all right so you can see that the bed mesh is completed. Like I said, it did 25 or 30 points, I'm not sure. So now we'll take the sensor off. Then we'll come back here. Go back to configuration, bed level. Now we want to move the Z down. So again, it's the same thing, just different point of reference. Hit the Z down. Make sure that the temp sensor is off. Now you can see that's going down. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a piece of paper in there just like we normally do. Nothing has changed here. And you can see it slides freely. Now the tricky part is if your printer is away from your pad, then you've got to come back here and press these buttons. So that's why I put it on the swivel so I can make it a lot easier. So I can hold the paper and do this at the same time. So now we want to set the Z and we're going to move it down 0.1 until it gets close. And then you can see here, you got up and down motion and you have the length of travel. So we're going to use this and we're going to come down 0.1 at a time. And we're gonna slide the paper just to make sure you know when it hits. Alright, so there's beginning a little bit of drag. 
a little bit more. Now I'm going to change it to 0.05 and bring it down. So now you can see the paper is dragging. I'm going to bring it down a little more, one more 0.05. And now, at, to me, that's perfect. It's dragging. And actually, I'll bring it down a 0.01 now. And I'll hit that two times. That's where I want it. Right there. That's perfect. All right. So now you can come back to here. And again, remember, there's no save button. It saves it automatically. So just go back, back, back to the main menu. And then you can just hit home. And then you'll see that the printer goes home. Now everything is saved for that one printer. So now you're going to go ahead and do that for the other two printers, for the V400 or whatever other printer you have and for the, uh, the QQS in this case. Again, we're not gonna redo that over again, but that's the process for every printer you have here. And you have to do that because that's the only way the pad will remember what calibration is on each printer. I hope that makes sense. If not, leave some comments in the uh, comment section below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you very much, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.